a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. Hello everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra and today we are talking about robotics and artificial intelligence ETFs. And uh, we know that robotics and AI, they are improving, they are becoming an integral part of our lives. And there's so many AI enabled applications that we use every day that we don't even realize, whether it's the face ID on our iPhones or uh, our watching recommendations on Netflix or when we use social media or uh, when we use digital assistants like Alexa or Siri and uh, self-driving cars robot delivery robots they are no longer science fiction they are increasingly being used if we order something on amazon it, and it arrives in a day or two it's mainly because of rising use of robots in their warehouses and so the possibilities just seem endless and like many other things automation and the use of AI was also accelerated by the pandemic, whether it was the use of uh, better technology, AI uh, enabled technologies by Microsoft Teams or uh, Zoom video or Skype, or use of robots in warehouses to maintain social distancing. And once companies realize the cost efficiencies and performance enhancement by use of robotics and AI, then they are not going to go back. They will continue using those technologies. And uh, there are few factors which are accelerating the growth and not only due to the pandemic, uh, it is uh, the falling costs and uh, improving performance with better technology, better computing, and a lot of availability of data, better availability of data, which is fueling this boom of the rise in automation and rise of rise in use of AI. Uh, so the global market for robots is expected to grow to 210 billion by 2025. And AI revenues are also expected to grow to more than 100 billion by 2025. That is according to Traktika. So these markets are growing very fast and there are four ETFs that focus exclusively on companies that, that are enabling this revolution in robotics and AI. So let's take a look at those four ETFs. So the first one we are highlighting is by Robo Global. The ticker symbol is Robo. And this is the first ETF uh, to focus on this area. And because of this, because this uh, had the first mover advantage, it quickly gathered uh, to more than a billion in assets. And now it has 2.1 billion in assets. And uh, it focuses on innovators and robotics automation and artificial intelligence. They have a committee of experts, a robotics experts committee, uh, which are very much involved in selection of uh, companies and then they use a tiered proprietary weighting scheme. This is the most expensive with 95 basis points in expense ratio and that is mainly because of use, I think mainly because of use of that experts committee. Now to learn more about the CTF, you can go to the code page on zax.com. You can read our reports, articles, and go to the external homepage of Robo Global to learn more about this ETF, its holdings. Now, in all these ETFs, you will see a lot of international companies because robotics and AI is not limited to the US. There's a lot of stuff happening in other countries, including Japan. Japan is a leader in industrial robots. China, Taiwan. So you will see a lot of international companies in these ETFs. Now looking at the top holdings of Robo, Glo Robo 3D Systems, Stratus, iRobot, which makes those robotic vacuums, uh, Illumina, these are among the top holdings in this ETF. Um, if you look at the fact sheet, as I mentioned, uh, a lot of international exposure. 
So US is about 46%, Japan is 20%, then Germany, Taiwan, UK, Switzerland. Uh, and you will also see a lot of exposure to those innovative mid cap and small cap companies, not just large cap one. And in fact, ETFs are a great way to get exposure to international companies, companies that not do not trade in the US because otherwise buying those companies individually would be very expensive though. So that's why in an ETF wrapper, you can access those innovative global companies at a low cost. Now the second one I'm talking about is by GlobalX. It was the second in second robotics ETF to launch. And uh, this was cheaper compared to Robo. It charged, it charged an expense ratio of 68 basis points. So it was quickly uh, able to gather a lot of assets. And it is now the biggest ETF in the space. 2.8 billion in assets. This holds companies which have high exposure to robotics and AI. This follows a market cap weighting scheme. Now, again, to learn more about the CTF, uh, you can go to the uh, our code page and use the link to go to the external home page. And I had done a podcast with GlobalX as well as with Robo Global, so you can listen to those podcasts to learn more about those ETFs. And uh, you will see that Japan has gets the highest weight in the portfolio, 43%, then US 36%. It doesn't have China or other emerging markets, Switzerland, Britain, or other uh, countries which get a lot of exposure. NVIDIA, then Fanuc, which uh, is a Japanese robotics company, ABB, Intuitive Surgical, uh, we have seen increasing use of robots in healthcare and intuitive surgical is one of those uh, very innovative companies uh, which has surgical robots. Uh, so these are among the top holdings in the ETF. The third one is by iShares. This is actually the cheapest in the space. Uh, it follows an equal weighting scheme. The ticker symbol is IRBO. Uh, it has uh, expense ratio of 47 basis points, relatively smaller compared to the first two, 446 million in assets. Again, to learn more about the CTF, you can go to the code page and you can go to the external home page, Asha's web page for the CTF. You will see it is up 25% year to date and very good performance last year too. Uh, so looking at the top holdings, uh, Hang 10 networks, 3D systems, micro strategies, which is so much in news because of its Bitcoin holding. Then Stratus, Baidu, Teradata, Lenovo, these are the top holdings in the ETF. You can look at the country exposure to. Uh, so compared to the other ETFs, it has relatively more exposure to US as well as to China, relatively low exposure to Japan. Then uh, the last one I'm highlighting is by First Trust. And the ticker symbol is ROBT, Robert. Uh, this also holds companies that are engaged in AI and robotics. This follows a modified equal weighting scheme has an expense ratio of 65 basis points and has 245 million in assets, the smallest in this space, but not really small. Again, you can go to the code page on zax.com. From there, the external home page, you can learn more about the weighting methodology. So it uh, selects the securities, then puts them in three buckets, enablers and gauges and enhancers. And within those buckets, within each category, uh, the companies are weighted equally. And gauges get 60% weight, enablers get 25% and enhancer get 15% weight in the portfolio. And you can see the top holdings, BlackBerry, Umbrella, iRobot. 
3D systems, these are the top holdings among the top holdings in the ETF. And you can look at the country exposure to uh, US 54% in Japan, UK, Canada, France. Now, on the last uh, slide, I have the, um, uh, the one year performance of all these ETFs versus the S&P 500 index, and you will see that iShares product, IRBO, has the best performance. It's up about 80%. The other three are up between 60 and 65%. Whereas the S&P 500 index is up about 19% over the past year. Thanks for watching. In full disclosure, I own IRBO, iShares product in the EDF investor portfolio that I manage. Make sure to check, check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. And also make sure to subscribe to our videos so that you do not miss any episode. And I'll see you next week.